<clears throat> All right, so last time I showed you how to install SQL Server 2012. This time I'm going to show you how to install uh, import data from a Word or a text file. So first things first, I already have my uh, tables created here. And um, I guess I'll make a separate video on if you don't have that table created. That's pretty simple to do as well. So uh, first thing I really want to do is I want to import those text files. So... I'm going to right click my database here. This can be any database that you want to import. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say tasks. And I'm going to say import data. And then it's going to bring up a little uh, navigator here. <clears throat> and this will, this will take a second. So there we go. So you can see I could choose to import data from a database, uh, several different types of databases actually. Um, in this point though, we want to do a flat file source. This is like a text file or an XML file or something. So um, we're going to be using text files here that are already created for us. And this always takes a little bit. I'm sorry about that. So uh, it's going to ask for the file name. Mine are in the, uh, mine's in my desktop here. So I'm going to go to that and I'm going to open my table shortcut. So there we go. Uh, so I'm going to import my customer table, okay? And uh, my customer table is separated by, I'll show you here if I open this up. If I look at my customer table here, you can see that I have sorted it by these, and I'm not. I'm actually going to not do that. I'm going to sort it by tabs because that's just a little bit easier. It's less for the. It's less for it to read. So all I'm doing is eliminating spaces and hitting tab. All right. So I'm going to go back. Hit tab. Hit tab. Hit tab. So there we go. So you can see these are going to be the column names, and this is going to be the data, and here is the comma at the end, noting that that is the end of a row. And actually, I can do this because I don't want anything afterwards. So it'll read that as the end of the file. All right, so I'm going to import a data source, and I'm going to say column names are in the first row, which is true for this particular table. There's the column names. Uh, they don't have to be there necessarily if your tables are already created. If they're not, this actually will denote the column names for you, which is nice. So column names are in the first row. I'm going to go to columns. And uh, you can see it only has two columns here, and that's because it doesn't know how to format it. And we formatted the columns by tabs. And we, or sorry, we the rows are by commas. That's the end of a row, right? Here's the end of a row is a comma. And then the column, we use tabs. And before, noticed we had vertical bars. I could have left it at that. I'm going to leave it as a tab. I'm going to hit refresh. And you can see now that it imported that data into, the, into what looks like a table. Pretty awesome. So we have our names. We have our account numbers. Pretty sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit next. And it's going to say, oh, where do you want to import it to? I want to import it into this database. I'm going to hit next. And you can see it says, oh, you want to import it into this table. We can see that. It saw that by looking at the columns. And it saw that it looks at the source. I'm going to hit Edit Mappings really, really quick. Here's where you could actually change the data types. Or uh, not the data types. You could enable identity inserts, change the nullables. Um, you can see what the table is going to, what's going to be going to what. So uh, coming from the text file, here's the source. This column is going to be going to this column. I can change that. Uh, this column would be going to this column on the table. This column would be going to this column. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Next. And it's going to say Run Immediately. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to hit Finish. And sometimes this error is out. And if it does, uh, in this one it didn't. Four rows, four rows transformed. I'm going to hit Close. Now let's look and see if the data got populated. I'm just going to right-click and hit Select Top 1000 Rows. And there it is. Simple as that. So let's do let's do one more. So I'm going to import right click tasks, import data. And we're going to do from a flat file source again. We're going to browse. I'm going to do order detail this time. And let's see, I need to look at my order detail table really quick. What is it? separated by it's separated by column or by tabs I can see but notice this time there's no comment or column name and that's fine um, 
because now we just uncheck this, this column names in the first data row. Then we're going to go to columns. Again, we're going to say a tab is what separates, or sorry, a comma is what separates rows. A tab is what separates uh, columns, and I'm going to hit refresh. And you can see column zero is this data, column one. It's successfully, it successfully uh, separated out the data for us. And you can see if I go to advanced here, I can actually set the types of uh, columns with the names and everything. So, all right, so I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. I'm just going to hit next. And again, I'm going to hit next here. And I'm going to go to edit mappings really quick. I'm going to make sure that my order numbers are going into my order numbers. If I look at my table, my order detail, does that make sense? If I look at this information, let's see. Well, this looks like a bunch of uh, numerical values, probably order numbers, line numbers, okay, uh, product numbers. So I just happen to know that this is the right data. So That'll be fine. I don't need to edit any mapping, and I'm just going to hit OK again. And now I'm going to hit Next. And see, I'm going to get a bunch of errors, and it's going to say, to view col or conversion details, double-click that row. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Ignore on every single one of these, on this down, on this down thing here, so that we can... Uh, successfully just import it. Um, this isn't always going to work, but usually it does 99% of the time. At least I've used it. So uh, I'm going to hit next, next, and finish, and we'll see what happens here. And 15 rows transformed. Uh, that was into our orders detail. Let's select the top thousand rows there, and there you go. All our information has now been imported. So it's easy as that. There's not much else to it from flat files. So all right, that's the end of this video.